Okay, good morning, Year 3. Um, I'm going to run through the instructions for your daily maths task today. So what you need for this task is something to write on, something to write with. I've got a pen, you can have a pencil or a crayon or whatever you've got to hand. And then six objects. On the instructions it says six counters, but if you haven't got six counters, I'm using pebbles because that's what I had to hand at the time. It just needs to be six small objects. First thing you need to do is you need to draw out a place value grid for your hundreds, tens, and ones. So it needs to be two rows and three columns like so. Now I'm just going to label my columns. So I've got my hundreds column, I've got my tens column, and I've got my ones column. So it should look like that. Okay? Then you're going to take your six objects and you're going to put your six objects into your place value grid. So just like the example on the board and on the instructions, I'm going to put two of my objects in the hundreds column, three of my objects in the tens column, and my final object in my ones column. And then I have two hundreds, three tens, and one one. So that number is, of course, 300, 200, sorry, and 31. Okay? Now, the next step is to use all six counters. You can't leave any out, you must use all six counters. You need to try and make the biggest number, then um, the biggest number where there's at least one counter in every space. Try and make the smallest number, try and make the smallest number where there is at least one counter in every space, and then finally, problem solving at the end, how many three digit numbers can you make all together? How many are there that you could possibly make using just the six um, items, pebbles in my instance, okay? Good luck, a bit of a problem solving investigation using your number knowledge and your place value knowledge from the autumn term. Good luck, let us know how you got on.